What's up, guys? This is the One Year Bible Reading for April 27th. Let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for another day. May your name be lifted high today in our lives. May we hear you speak to us through your word. And may we just glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Judges 7, 1 through 8, 17. Then Jerubbabel that is, Gideon, and all the people who were with him, rose early and encamped beside the well of Herod, so that the camp of the Midianites was on the north side of them by the hill of Moreh in the valley. And the Lord said to Gideon, The people who are with you are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands, lest Israel claim glory for itself against me, saying, My own hand has saved me. Now therefore, Proclaim in the hearing of the people, saying, Whoever is fearful and afraid, let him turn and depart at once from Mount Gilead. And twenty-two thousand of the people returned, and ten thousand remained. But the Lord said to Gideon, The people are still too many. Bring them down to the water, and I will test them for you there. Then it will be that of whom I say to you, This one shall go up with you, the same shall go with you, and of whomever I say to you, this one shall not go with you, the same shall not go. So he brought the people down to the water, and the Lord said to Gideon, Everyone who laps from the water with his tongue as a dog laps, you shall set apart by himself. Likewise, everyone who gets down on his knees to drink, and the number of those who lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, was three hundred men. But all the rest of the people got down on their knees to drink water. Then the Lord said to Gideon, By the three hundred men who lapped I will save you, and deliver the Midianites into your hand. Let all the other people go, every man to his place. So the people took provisions and their trumpets in their hands, and he sent away all the rest of Israel every man to his tent, and retained those three hundred men. Now the camp of Midian was below him in the valley. It happened on the same night that the Lord said to him, Arise, go down against the camp, for I have delivered it into your hand. But if you are afraid to go down, go down to the camp with Pura, your servant, and you shall hear what they say and afterward your hands shall be strengthened to go down against the camp. Then he went down with Pura, his servant, to the outpost of the armed men who were in the camp. Now the Midianites and Am Amalekites, all the people of the east, were lying in the valley as numerous as locusts, and their camels were without number. As the sand by the seashore in multitude. And when Gideon had come, there was a man telling a dream to his companion. He said, I have had a dream. To my surprise, a loaf of barley bread tumbled into the camp of Midian. It came to a tent and struck it so that it fell and overturned, and the tent collapsed. Then his companion answered and said, This is nothing else but the sword of Gideon, the son of Joash a man of Israel. Into his hand God has delivered Midian and the whole camp. And so it was when Gideon heard the telling of the dream and its interpretation that he worshipped. He returned to the camp of Israel and said, Arise, for the Lord has delivered the camp of Midian into your hand. Then he divided the three hundred men into three companies, and he put a trumpet into every man's hand with empty pitchers and torches inside the pitchers. And he said to them, Look at me, and do likewise. Watch, and when I come to the edge of the camp, you shall do as I do. When I blow the trumpet, and I, sorry, I and all who are with me, then you also blow the trumpets on every side of the whole camp, and say, The sword of the Lord and of Gideon. 
So Gideon and the hundred men who were with him came to the outpost of the camp at the beginning of the middle watch, just as they had posted the watch. And they blew the trumpets and broke the pitchers that were in their hands. Then the three, then the three companies blew the trumpets and broke the pitchers. They held the torches in their left hands and the trumpets in their right hands for blowing. And they cried, The sword of the Lord and of Gideon! And every man stood in his place all around the camp, and the whole army ran and cried out and fled. When the three hundred blew the trumpets, the Lord set every man's sword against his companion throughout the whole camp, and the army fled to Beth Acacia toward Zerorah, as far as the border of Abel Mahola by Tabith. And the men of Israel gathered together from Naphtali, Asher, and all Manasseh, and pursued the Midianites. Then Gideon sent messengers throughout all the mountains of Ephraim, saying, Come down against the Midianites, and seize from them the watering places as far as Beth Bara and the Jordan. Then all the men of Ephraim gathered together and seized the watering places as far as Beth Bara and the Jordan. And they captured the two princes of the Midianites, Oreb and Zeb. They killed Oreb at the rock of Oreb, and Zeb they killed at the winepress of Zeb. They pursued Midian and brought the heads of Oreb and Zeb to Gideon on the other side of the Jordan. Now the men of Ephraim said to him, why have you done this to us by not calling us when you went to fight with the Midianites? And they reprimanded him sharply. So he said to them, What have I done now in comparison with you? Is not the gleaning of the grapes of Ephraim better than the vintage of Abi Abizer? God has delivered into your hands the princes of Midian, Oreb and Zeb. And what was I able to do in comparison with you? Then their anger toward him subsided when he said that. When Gideon came to the Jordan, he and the three hundred men who were with him crossed over, exhausted, exhausted but still in pursuit. Then he said to the men of Succoth, Please give loaves of bread to the people who follow me, for they are exhausted, and I am pursuing Zeba and Zalmana, kings of Midian. And the leaders of Sakoth said, Are the hands of Zeba and Zalmuna now in your hand, that we should give bread to your army? So Gideon said, For this cause, when the Lord has delivered Zeba and Zalmana into my hand, then I will tear your flesh with the thorns of the wilderness and with briars. Then he went up from there to Penuel, and spoke to them in the same way. And the men of Penuel answered him as the men of Sakoth had answered. So he also spoke to the men of Penuel, saying, When I come back in peace, I will tear down this tower. Now Zeba and Zalmana were at Karkor, and their armies with them, about fifteen thousand, all who were left of all the army of the people of the east. For one hundred and twenty thousand men who drew the sword had fallen. Then Gideon went up by the road of those who dwell in tents on the east of Noba and Jogbeha, and he attacked the army while the camp felt secure. When Zeba and Zalmana fled, he pursued them, and he took the two kings of Midian, Zeba and Zalmana, and routed the whole army. Then Gideon, the son of Joash, returned from battle from the ascent of Heres. And he caught a young man of the men of Sakoth and interrogated him. And he wrote down for him the leaders of Sakoth and its elders, seventy-seven men. Then he came to the men of Sakoth and said, Here are Zeba and Zalmana, about whom you ridiculed me, saying, Are the hands of Zeba and Zalmana now in your hand, that we should give bread to your weary men? And he took the elders of the city, and thorns of the wilderness, and briars. And with them he taught the men of Sakoth. Then he tore down the tower of Penuel, and killed the men of the city.
Luke twenty three thirteen through 43. Then Pilate, when he had called together the chief priests, the rulers, and the people, said to them, You have brought this man to me as one who misleads the people, and indeed, having, exa having examined him in your presence, I have found no fault in this man concerning those things of which you accuse him. No, neither did Herod, for I sent you back to him. And indeed, nothing deserving of death has been done by him. I will therefore chastise him and release him, for it was necessary for him to release one to them at the feast. And they all cried out at once, saying, Away with this man, and release to us Barabbas! who had been thrown into prison for a certain rebellion made in the city and for murder. Pilate, therefore, wishing to release Jesus, again called out to them. But they shouted, saying, Crucify him! Crucify him! Then he said to them the third time, Why, what evil has he done? I have found no reason for death in him. I will therefore chastise him and let him go. But they were insistent, demanding with loud voices that he be crucified. And the voices of these men and of the chief priests prevailed. So Pilate gave sentence that it should be as they requested. And he released to them the one they requested who for rebellion and murder had been thrown into prison. But he deli delivered Jesus to their will. Now as they led him away, they laid hold of a certain man, Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming from the country, and on him they laid the cross that he might bear it after Jesus. And a great multitude of the people followed him, and women who also mourned and lamented him. But Jesus turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For indeed, the days are coming in which they will say, Blessed are the barren, wombs that never bore, and breasts which never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do these things in the green wood, what will be done in the dry? There were also two others, criminals, led with him to be put to death. And when they had come to the place called Calvary, there they, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. And they divided his garments and cast lots, and the people stood looking on. But even the rulers with them sneered, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself if he is the Christ, the chosen of God. The soldiers also mocked him, coming and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, Save yourself. And an inscription also was written over him in letters of Greek, Latin, and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. Then one of the criminal, criminals who were hanged blasphemed him, saying, If you are the Christ, save yourself and us. But the other, answering, rebuked him, saying, Do you not even fear God? seeing you are under the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. So this is a great example right here, guys. This man on the cross next to Jesus, he did nothing to go into heaven but believe. His faith alone saved him. 
And Jesus said, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. This guy didn't keep any commandments. He didn't do any sacraments. He didn't do anything but believe in Jesus Christ alone. I mean, I'm sure if he had the time, he would have probably repented and followed his commandments, his statues, and did everything the Lord wanted him to do. But he didn't have time. All he did at the end was believe and have faith. Psalms 97, 1 through 98, 9. The Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of isles be glad. Clouds and darkness surround him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. A fire goes before him and burns up his enemies round about. His lightnings light the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord. At the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness and all the peoples see his glory. Let all be put to shame who served carved images, who boast of idols. Worship him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you, Lord, are most high above all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. You who love the Lord hate evil. He preserves the souls of his saints. He delivers them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous. And gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name. A Psalm Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gained him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. His righteousness he has revealed in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth in song, rejoice and sing praises. Sing to the Lord with the harp with the harp and the sound of a psalm, with trumpets and the sound of a horn. Shout joyfully before the Lord, the King. Let the sea roar in all its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the hills be joyful together before the Lord. For He is coming to judge the earth. With righteousness He shall judge the world and the peoples with equity. Proverbs fourteen seven through 8 Go from the presence of a foolish man, when you do not perceive in him the lips of knowledge. The wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of fools is deceit. May God bless you guys. Have a good one.